is confident welcome to our fifth lesson where i am again dealing with the general solution and this is a lesson under trigonometry and for the last uh, four lessons i have been dealing with different versions that you can find in uh, your exams when they are actually uh, giving it for you to find the general solution so if you're doing your grade 11 and grade 12 and you're advising for your final exams this is one of the best uh, lessons that you can use as you prepare and i will encourage you also to subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified in real time whenever there are new videos press the subscription button below and you will benefit because these videos are free for you to watch the only thing you need to have is your data and once you have your data you are set up to watch these videos at any time. Now, let us look at, um, again, one more question, which says determine the general solution of the following equation. And they have given us, it's five marks, to say sine two x is equal to four cos two x. Now, the key in this part is the angles. You are given two x, you are given two x, you will go through the part of 10. Now remember what we're given in 10, if I just remind you, is that 10x is equal to sine x over cos x. Now your x in this case is the 2x part. So which means if you have to use that same concept, so I have here sine 2x is equal to 4 cos 2x. Now, if I'm going to use this identity here, why am I using it? As I said, because I've got the same angles, then I have to go through 10. Now, don't be tempted to open this and then you have got 2 uh, sine 2 cos x sine x. You know, as an identity, you want to open this identity to have 2 cos squared x minus 1 multiplied by 4 you'll be just actually making this thing whole difficult so don't use um, the double angles in this case it was a way of going through 10 so what you do i will divide both sides to get 10 remember it's sine over cos so if i can divide by cos here but i can only divide by cos of the same angle which is cos 2x and i'll also divide here by cos 2x then when I've done that, you can see the right hand side cancels so that I've got 4. But on the left hand side, sine 2x over cos 2x is 10, not 10x now, it is 10 2x is equal to 4. So you see how it is? Then from here, you are able then to find that particular angle 2x, not x. So what you're going to say, you're going to say 2x is equal to arc. 10, 4. This will give us the reference angle. So if I can uh, find that arc 10, 4, it will be shift arc 10, 4. It will be 75,96 uh, degrees. 75,96. So 2x is equal to 75,96. Degrees. Now, since we're dealing with 10 and um, 10, the general or the reduction rules, if I can just go again for the reduction rules for 10, but now 10 is a special angle, I mean, is a special one. Remember, 10 is positive, all students take chemistry. 10 is, is positive in this quadrant and it is positive in that quadrant. So, using the same way. If it's in the first quadrant, what you're going to do, remember this, I'll write my ref angle. So what you're going to do is for the quadrant number one, you're going to say 2x is equal to 75,96 degrees plus, now in this uh, particular angle, it's K180 degrees because 10 has got, um, a period of 180 don't forget 10 sine and cos is 360 10 is 180 don't forget to write k is an element of real numbers 
So when you've done that, then you can divide by 2 on both sides. 2x over 2 is equal to 75,96 over 2 plus k180 over 2. Are you, are you seeing that? Then you have x is equal to, then when you start to divide, you will be uh, having it's 75,96 divided by 2, it is 37,96. So you've got 37,96 plus K90. So this is the first one. It's quadrant number one. Now, if you are dealing with quadrant number two, so you're going to have now in quadrant number two, remember in the third quadrant is 180 plus theta. So what you're going to have is you're going to say 2x is equal to now the reference angle, which is 180 plus 75, comma 96 plus k 180. This is in the third quadrant and you've got 2x is equal to now when you add that 180 plus 75,96 it is going to give us 255,96 um, so that's what I have 255,96 plus k180 degrees again divide in this case you are going to divide by 2 divide by 2 each one by 2 so you've got x is equal to 255,96 and then I'm dividing it by 2 so it becomes 127,98 again it's plus k 90 degrees don't forget the condition here is k is an element of set i didn't write it in the first one so i'm just writing it as the final answer there so this is how then i have the two general solutions but now i want to show you something with 10 something interesting with 10 i want you to compare and look at these answers for example if i make um here let me use a different marker here. If I make here, for example, and say, let k be equal to 1, and here I say, let k be equal to 0. So if k is 1, I've got x is equal to 37,96 plus 1 times 90. And then on the other one, it would be x is equal to 127,98 plus 0,90. So I'm using this two. Now if I use a calculator on the first one, I'm having 37,96 plus one times 90. See, I'm getting here 127,96. So X is 127,96. Now on the other one, x will also be equal to because 0 times 90 is just 0 is 127,98 it's just a matter of the rounding off but you can see that these answers are now the same it's just a matter that when k is 1 this one lags behind with a 1 so for example if i say it let's just show you again okay? if i say it here let k be 2 so it will be x when k is 2 so it will be x is equal to 37,96 plus 2 times 90. But here, if I say let k be equal to 1, so it will be x is equal to 127,98 plus 1 times 90. So let us get the answers here. And the first one, I'll be having 37 comma 96 plus 2 times 90 I'm having 217 comma 96 so it's 217 
217,96. Now, what about the other one? If I work on it when k is equal to 1, it will be 127,98 plus 1 times 90. I'm getting here 217,98. So it's 217,98. Remember the 96 and the 98 is just a small difference. But you can see again, these answers are the same. So you can see that the one, the smaller one, is the one where I started from k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, but it is producing all the answers that I have here when it's k is equal to 0, k is equal to 1. So in that scenario, it is therefore correct to have one answer for 10, which can represent both of them. And the answer that can represent both of them, you see, I've got 37,96, I've got um, 98 so i can take the smaller one which becomes now my general solution is x is equal to 37,96 degrees plus k 90 degrees all the answers that are here will also be found here i can start from k is equal to 1 i'll find it there k is equal to 0 but this one you see cannot give me 37,96 but this one, because it's smaller, it can start from 37,96. Because even here, if I actually I think it can give me, if I put a negative 1, yeah, it can actually give me when I put a negative 1. If I say 127,98 uh, plus uh, bracket negative 1 uh, times 90 like that, if I do that, it is giving me actually 37,98. Actually, all the answers are also found in here, but I will encourage you to take the smaller one, which is the one here. But even this one, you can see that it gives you all the answers. But take 37,96 and then you write K is an element of set. So that is how you can approach 10 in that case. Guys, I've come now to the fifth lesson. I hope you go through all the previous lessons that I've been uh, uh, doing, part one, part two, part three, and part four, and it will come handy as you prepare for your final exam. We have come to the end of our lesson. Remember to subscribe to our channel, forward this channel, or share this channel to your friends so that they can also benefit. Remember, sharing is caring. And the more you repeat these lessons time and again, the more you repeat them, and sometimes it's always good after watching it, try to teach it to someone. As you try to teach it to someone, when you get stuck, you go back to the video and see where did you lose it. And this is another way of learning. And it will always come handy to you. If you want more resources on our channel, how you can benefit from online learning, we have got online lessons, which you can register and you can get all the information on our website at the end of this video. Just check um, our website and you can get more information on that. Thank you.